In the last part, I had shown how we could lift up the ship with the help of my V-rods and A-rods. Here in part number 5, it happens a lot of things, and the ship will come up and be floating again. We need now four of these Wärtsilä bow thrusters. We use them as pumps together with valves, sieves and four big electric engines. Also we need four diesel engines with pumps. Two of them will be placed on the front deck and two on the back deck. Here you can see how we can weld attachments for bow thrusters on the repair plates for the big hole downside. After the floating we will close the valves and take out the bow thrusters. To get enough willpower for the four electric engines we need a generator ship to be placed behind Costa Concordia. It has a huge diesel engine with a generator to make about 16,000 horsepower for the pumps. Here you can see the four engines on the ship with the bow thrusters downside and also the wire rope plates and a big stone. Here we have got the ship up to about 45 degrees with the help of my A rods and V rods. At first we can close some more holes on the right side. Now we will start the floating process. At first we start the big generator. Now we start the four diesel pumps on the deck and wait for an hour. And here we can see a floating big cruising ship again. Now we must try to start the original pumps, clean it inside and see what we can use inside. The main engines can probably be used after cleaning works. Some of the viewers today was bias of the ship. They will now come with the ships and tow it away. Perhaps China and India. Goodbye.